Nice to wake up to these on your front deck. The day's finally come. Business was finally good enough where I could uh, afford to buy some new rubber for the trailer. This tire's been on here for many years. Badly dry rotted, but. These things have made me a lot of money. Bought these many years ago. Gotta be over 10, way over 10 years. Got them from a swap meet. Guy, uh, he had them, the stickers were still on them, but my old friend told me might not want to buy those because the date code is really old. Tires are from the 90s. They've been sitting around, but they were sitting inside a garage or a shed. And they were brand new. Never mounted. Not this one. One of them was going really low so uh, I kept leaking I couldn't fix the leak so I just put this on this was off a boat trailer it was brand new brand new spare but you can see that's what I've been that's what I've been hauling cars with right there can't complain on these tires but you know it's one of those things you always in the back of your head, you're always, you know, hauling stuff and thinking about having a blowout. Even the spare is uh, not too great. But luckily, I never had to use it. What's happening now is... They're all wearing kind of funny and uh, gives a shake and a shimmy going down the interstate, especially with no weight on. And a couple of them have a slow leak, but I just kept filling them up. Today's the day. Brand new. Good deal off of Amazon. Can't afford the really good name brand ones, but we got some Trans Eagles for it. Had to recently uh, weld in this piece of C channel that I got in a scrap haul. It's, uh, trailer had a little bit of a bend to it and it was uh, starting to crack on the sides of the frame so not very good but you got to keep it going got to do the same thing to the other side time the old dinosaur Warm them up. Get them nice and toasty. Go on better.
might as well. A couple fresh stemmies. Actually, four fresh stemmies. Not a couple. Whole family of tires. I can't believe it. Never even bought new tires for anything. Cleaned up this area. Put in another piece of angle. I don't have too much wire so I didn't want to just weld all the way but probably go back at another time and finish it up but pretty strong nice thick steel so uh, up here they don't really care about fenders so most people don't even run them I like it a lot better without the fenders can, uh, they just got in the way, always rattling around and breaking off. The reason why I had to uh, strengthen up these areas is that over the years, the fenders were welded on so much that it weakened uh, the metal right there on the frame. And, you know, after welded so many times and grinded down, it got a little thin there, so fix that up I added this piece on here because uh, some of the trucks that have the wheel spacers or like a dually or something if I put it on there I always just hung off a little bit so I had this piece of steel it gives it a little extension kinda like it of course, I said uh, before, I did notice a crack right up in this area. And that's because this trailer is not a beaver tail. It's just a straight back. So when you pull something on over the years of pulling so many cars and trucks, the weight goes right on the back. And it always flexes right there. So it took a lot of years, but finally cracked up there. So I uh, put that nice piece of C-channel. I wish I had another one. I'm going to get another piece exactly like it. I'm going to put it on this side. No signs of any stress or cracks on this side yet. But 
I am going to get that matching piece and then maybe, you know, maybe run a couple of cross braces just for the hell of it. But um, I always kind of wanted this trailer to be solid in the middle, but being open, it, it's definitely come in handy. Uh, sometimes I can get right under there and uh, cut a cat off or, you know, do something that I need to do. Um, the only time is when you pick up a real junk or something, uh, you know, and all the stuff's hanging off, it just kind of hangs down and drags on the ground, so you got to watch out for that. But, uh, I've got brand new tires, I can't believe it. We uh, did the same thing over here. Another big piece. I saved, you know, I don't scrap everything. I, I save these nice pieces of angle and stuff for a, for a day like this. And, uh... This is the biggest problem area right here. There was so much weld. I've been grinding and grinding and hours of grinding and burning through discs, but... I'm almost down there, and then I can put another piece over that, just like the other side, just clean it up a little bit, make it look, you know, uniform, because a state trooper once told me, way back when I got this trailer, he said, uh, we're looking to pull over the stuff that doesn't look good, he said, you want to look good, you want to, you know you want to keep it clean so I always uh, remembered that and I always tried to instead of just having a big ball of rust I tried to keep it you know fresh painted black in the summertime and uh, keep the lights looking good even though these ones are already a couple of cracks but I have a brand new set in there for it um, you know, I just take some time and a couple of minutes, you know, some red paint on the back. It, it, it makes it look like you care, you know. You know, you just have this uh, rotted out trailer going down the interstate. And, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna look at that a little more. So, 